Hi there, I'm Nadi, and I'm the personality development teacher at one of the finest schools in town. And being a personality development teacher, I work on people's personality, the etiquettes, the manners. And you know what the topic for today is? Soup manners. Basically, dining etiquettes. So here that I have on my plate is chicken clear soup. It's one of my favorite. And I'm going to tell you how to have soup. But the reason why I'm making this video is, I went to one of a restaurant lately and I saw a couple, they're from a well-to-do family. They did not know how to have soup. Of course, I couldn't intervene. That would be completely unpleasant for me. So I did not intervene, but I noticed them. They were holding the spoon in a very different way, in an awkward manner. But then I thought, let me try to make some, some videos like this that may help a lot of people. Maybe it may help 100,000 people who do not know how to eat soup. And the reason why I say eat soup because it is one of the main is one of the main part in the core in the meal right because we always start off with soup so today i'm going to tell you the spoon that is always at the end is a soup spoon because it has a big mouth and always remember that will be towards the right and at the end do not take the spoon that is in front because this is for the dessert okay but some people do take it because it's inclined towards the front so they think that this is the soup spoon well which well actually it's not this is the soup spoon because you will see the utensil has a bigger mouth so this is and do not take uh, in a uh, do not take in any other spoons so when you take hold it like this and dip you do not go towards the chest you do not go to the left to the right but imagine this as a face of a clock 12 o'clock is here so that's how you go take the spoon immerse it into the soup and go this way towards the 12 o'clock and let the spills be in the bowl and then you take it right always again go from the 12 o'clock needle if imagine this as the face of a clock take this from 12 o'clock leave the spills in there and remember you do not stoop in foot to the soup the soup comes to you so this is the way and you have soup and make sure that you keep place the spoon back into it decently let me tell you again, there are two types of bowl in which soup will be served. One is the deep bowl and the other is the shallow bowl. That depends on what, what you have in the soup, right? So this is a chicken soup for me and that's the reason why I took, I took a deep bowl and this is how I place my spoon. The distance between the soup and you should be two pounds. So this is the way. You do not incline towards this way, right? You maintain distance and this is how you have it, okay? Let me tell you again. This is the way you have the soup, okay? And please do forward this to all your friends and family and I'm sure they know how to eat soup, but if they do not know, this is the right way to have it. Until we meet again next time, stay tuned for the next video on folk and knife manners. Thank you so much. Signing off, Nadia.